By 2023, LG hopes to have his televisions 20% brighter. What method did they plan to use? Well, it's by applying a micro lens. Will this give LG TVs a chance to compete with Samsung TVs in terms of brightness? I guess we'll find out when it's released. But while we wait for it to arrive, let's talk about the LG C3 release date and price. 20% more brightness coming. Micro lens. Now, let's have a little discussion regarding the micro lens. It seems that the LG C3 will be the company's first bright smart TV or OLED TV, a move that will help LG C's market dominance. LG Display is considering using microlens to provide roughly 20% more brightness to OLED TV screens, which would bring the potential brightness to around 1,200 nits. That lens is composed of hundreds of very small lenses arranged in a thin translucent layer. Currently, LG's WOLED's peak brightness is lower than that of Samsung's new QD OLEDs. LG's latest EVO screens don't significantly improve brightness even with heat sinks. That's why LG is thinking about using microlens technology in their next generation of television sets. While this may be the first time you will see a massive increase in brightness from the LG, the LG G2 is currently the brightest LG TV. As one of the brightest OLED models on the market, LG G2's brightness is enhanced with a brightness booster that pushes it to a maximum of 20% brighter than the LG C2's EVO panels. So, what are we expecting the micro lens's advantages to be if that's the case? Please hang tight, we'll get to it in a minute. Micro lens's benefit. Now, therefore, let's consider the upside. This technology also helps cut down on power usage, which is great since it is one of the leading causes of a display failing prematurely. Simply said, the micro lens will enhance the efficiency of each light channel, resulting in more illumination with less energy expenditure. According to Flat Panel's HD's translated versions of the official report by the ELEC, LG Display is known to expect 20% improvement in OLED luminance by applying a micro lens. Under the premise that the product lifespan is the same, if the OLED luminance increases, power consumption can be saved at the same luminance. Finally, a TV that will help reduce power bills. In addition, the displays use specialized algorithms to maintain the OLED's dependability and productivity. The micro lens can increase peak brightness due to their capacity to efficiently direct the light reflected off the screen toward the viewers. Case in point, the LG C3 2023 can show a spectacular picture without using more power by replacing this lens in front of the OLED in a way that a sizable percentage of the light is distributed. The lens focuses on that light, and it goes right into the viewer's eye. With this, we'll get 1200 nits of brightness, which is less than what one competitor's smart TV offered. But stick with us, because we'll investigate this more. In any case, be sure to subscribe to the channel, since a comprehensive review of the LG C3 will be made available upon its release. Remember to hit the notification bell as well! Price and Release Date it's been speculated that we may see micro lens panels on the market as early as the first half of 2023. Now concerning the price, LG has said nothing. But this is what we think. The LG C2 65 inch is sold for $1,799, and the LG G2, which is 20% brighter than the C2, goes for $2,199 as of this video. So the LG C3, which will be brighter than these two, might cost between $2,500 and $3,000 for the 65 inch model. LG C3's competition. You can find the competition of the micro lens being used in television to be peculiar, and that's okay. However, it should be noted that LG is not the only corporation suspected of engaging in such practices. Some have speculated that Samsung's premium smartphones, such as the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, have employed similar techniques. Though the micro lens improvement is warranted, it still falls short of Samsung's state of the art QD OLED S95B display which has a maximum brightness of 1500 nits. Even with the help of micro lenses, LG display is unable to compete with the S95B QD OLED display, which is another point that ought to be brought up. That is an improvement for LG either way, and because of this modification, the LG C3 settings may have additional features that are absent from the LG C2s. We know you're as excited about the LG C3 as we are. In any case, if you're interested in learning about the LG C2's capabilities, 
check out our video. LG C2 QLED TV, versatility performance, gaming features, and more.